So you're thinking about buying a home in Fishtown, which is a section in Philadelphia, and you want to get a good overview of what the neighborhood has to offer. How close is it to downtown? Is there anything to do in that part of town? What's the real estate like? Well, I'm here to answer those questions in this video. In this video, I'll be, I'm going to take you on a virtual tour of the neighborhood, first showing you the boundaries using Google Maps, then we're going to go to a few historical landmarks then we're going to check out some local businesses and also we're going to also review some neighborhood stats while cruising the neighborhood and I'm also going to show you some homes that are currently priced at around $350,000 in Fishtown reason being that's the average price of a home in Philly now if this is your first time to my channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Philly make sure you subscribe below and hit the bell for notifications so you can stay up to date on everything happening in Philly. My name is Colin Nathan Alim, the real estate board, licensed real estate agent serving Philadelphia and the surrounding counties. And I get calls, texts, emails every day from people just like you looking to make a move to Philly or to the county. So I'm always here and I'm happy to help whether you're moving in eight days or 80 days. All right, here's Fishtown on the map. We're going to start at Center City, and Fishtown is north of Center City. So Fishtown would be considered like the lower northeast in Philadelphia. We really don't say uh, East Philadelphia because East Philadelphia is considered the Delaware River, which is right here. So what makes town so centrally located is it's right on 95. So in the yellow, this is 95 going from north to south. So if you wanted to get over to center city or west philly you would just hop on 95 and then hit the vine street express over here and you could either come into center city or what you could do is you can take this out to west philly so you got the franklin institute you have the philadelphia museum of art um, now if we take a little bit closer look at fishtown As you can see, there's plenty of things to do. Um, this coffee shop will be taken a tour of. Um, you got Frankfurt Hall, which is uh, super famous. You have Dunkin' Donuts for your coffee lovers out there. Um, and there's plenty of bake shops. There's plenty of foods. As people know, Philadelphia is definitely a uh, foodie place. If you're looking to work out, they uh, do have a Planet Fitness, um, and there's a shopping mall. Uh, not a, a mall, but a strip mall right next um, near the Planet Fitness where they do have the probably the biggest grocery store, which is IGA. And you also have Nifty Fifties for those who love uh, milkshakes. Now, the neighboring neighborhoods, if you want, is you have Northern Liberties, uh, which is right here. And you also have Fairmont also um, and Spring Garden. And you have brewery town over here. Now, if you do work at Temple um, or you're a student, uh, Fishtown is super close to Temple. Temple's right here. And if you do want to get to a sporting event like a Sixers game or an Eagles game, you just hop on 95. You hop on 95 and you'll get down a little bit further down. But you'll get down to where the action is. And right here is where the um, Phillies play at, at Citizens Bank Park. So you would just take 95 down. And here's South Philly. So if you wanted to catch a Sixers game or Eagles game, you're just going to take 95 right on down here. And it's going to let you off exactly where you need to be. If you if you wanted to hit Jersey, um, there's a bridge to Jersey that's super close. So you just wanted to get out of Philly for some reason. Um, you can jump on this bridge. There's also the Betsy Ross Bridge is up here. So there's a bunch of ways um, to get to. This is the Ben Franklin Bridge right here. Uh, this is the Betsy Ross Bridge right here. And then you have the Walt Whitman that's a little bit uh, further south. If you want to get to um, Bucks County, 
you would just take 95 and keep going north, okay? So this is Fishtown on a map. Our first landmark stop is Penn Treaty Park. Now, this park is located at the intersection of Delaware Avenue and Beach Street. This beautiful park is situated on the banks of the Delaware River and is named after the legendary treaty signed between William Penn and the Native Americans in 1683. The treaty represented an important moment of peace and friendship between the two groups. And today, the park serves as a peaceful oasis in the heart of Fishtown. Another landmark in Fishtown is the Fishtown Recreation Center located on East Montgomery Avenue. This community center has been a hub of activity for generations of Fishtown residents, offering a wide range of activities and programs for all ages. Now let's look at some businesses in Fishtown. First, we have La Colombe Coffee, which is on Frankfurt Avenue. This local coffee shop has become a staple in Fishtown for its high quality coffee and unique atmosphere. The building itself is an old warehouse that has been converted into a cozy coffee shop with exposed brick walls and industrial decor. La Colombe prides itself on its commitment to ethical and sustainable sourcing of its coffee beans, as well as its partnership with local organizations to support the community. If you got a sweet tooth like me, look no further than Cake Life Bake Shop, which is also located on Frankfurt Avenue. This local bakery specializes in custom cakes, pastries, and other delicious treats. Founded by two pastry chefs, Cake Life prides itself on using high-quality ingredients and creating unique and beautiful desserts that taste as good as they look. Their bakery storefront is the perfect place to grab a coffee and a pastry while enjoying the sights and sounds of Fishtown. Now we have one of the newest additions to Fishtown's business scene, which 